Hey everybody, um, I got a scripture for you guys today. Um, it's kind of a lot of scriptures, not just one, but my daughter was reading the Bible today and she told me to read this and I had to share it with you all. Um, it's another warning. Um, not really so much as about the rapture today, but about the people who are not heeding God's warning. Warning pertaining your life. You could be struggling with your salvation. You could be still fighting for God, but not doing as much as he's putting on your heart to do. So I'm going to go to Jeremiah 13 verse nine. This is what she read. And I told her to show, show me the scripture that you just read. I need to see, and I got to hear, and I got to pray about it. And I got to see what the Lord wants me to do. I'm going to tell you in my spirit, what I'm thinking this means, but here go the scripture. Jeremiah 13, 9, thus saith the Lord, after this manner will I mar the pride of Judah and the great pride of Jerusalem. This evil people, which refuse to hear my words, which walk in imagination of their heart and walk after other gods to serve them and to worship them, shall even be as this girdle, which is good for nothing. And then I'm going to go to another scripture, Ch Jeremiah chapter 13, but skip over to verse 16. Give glory to the Lord your God before he calls darkness and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains. And while ye look for the light, he turn it into the shadow of death and make it gross darkness. I'm going to tell you about the first one I got first. Um, Jeremiah chapter 13, verse nine, it's basically saying when we give you the message or when he put something in your heart and he's studying over and over telling you something and you might not be getting it or you might get it, but you're not doing nothing about it. Um, I want to, woe to you, um, devastation coming soon to those who walk in in their own way, but I want to repeat the part when he say and walk after other gods to serve them and to worship them shall even be as the girdle, which is good for nothing. Like when um, you walk not according to God's word, you are serving other gods because because he, Jesus said, if you serve him, you will despise the devil. And, this, and vice versa. If you're doing evil and sinning and living in your own way, you really despise the word that we're trying to give you. You really don't want to hear it. You like, when you despise something, it's like, why do you keep making these videos? Why do you keep talking about that? you despising that person for that. But my point is, do you ever stop and ask yourself, why are you mad? Like, why? are you this person trying to help you and they're trying to wake you up if if you are doing your own walk i need to stop like when my daughter told me this scripture i stopped i was watching tv i wasn't reading the word i wasn't making a video i really probably wasn't gonna do a video until she gave it to me but my point that i'm trying to say is i am heeding his warning though he gave us warning to heed him he don't give us warning to threaten us to say, um, I'm going to do this to you. You know, we don't have a God that will provoke us. He's not a provoker. To, he, although, thank God he is not. Because what if we had a God that knew all what he was going to do to the world. And he see you lost in your way. And he, he give no warning. The warning is in your word. You don't read it oh well. I told my daughter. She said to me. To him that have ears, let him hear. She said, people that they have ears, but they not hearing God's word. They still not listening. So I asked her, do you think that's concerning you? She said, yeah, I need to listen to my parents more. But furthermore, she also said, it's for me to warn people. By the way, mind you, I told you I was watching TV when she told me. So, guys... I'm going to get to the next part, but I, I just, my heart is so heavy because I don't feel like we doing enough. I don't feel like 
we acting like we care. You, we, I don't want to wait till it's too late to care. So I'm going to pause on that and get to the other scripture because the video is already at five minutes. But um, give, God, give, God, give glory to the Lord your God because he caused darkness. And before your stumble, uh, and before your feet stumble upon dark mountains, dark mountains is bad times. Um, he's warning us before I cause you to stumble. You know, we, we wonder why is this happening to me? You pray, you pray, you say, Lord, protect me. Lord, guide me. Lord, help me in this matter. But I feel like we need to stop and check our own heart and check our own walk and check our own friendships with people and friendship and Christianity. What are you doing as far as the Christian body? I'm not in a church home right now. I'm looking for when I just moved, but I feel like let's have church right here on the, on a, on a video. I'm reading the scripture. Let's two to two gather together. Jesus in the midst. We can both agree that the scripture, this is King James version. So we can get together and agree this is Jesus' word. He's warning us. What are we going to do about it? Um, You still have time, though. You know, you don't have a, not a lot of time to break all these bad habits that we don't set up in our life. But you have time. You have time to start making effort. Start working on it. Start changing because... You don't understand that you have a you have a choice. It's your own free will. And you got goodness in you. Everybody got a good part of them, you know. And you just gotta let that shine more and and believe in God more. Believe him for what he say he's gonna do. We just gotta pray for it and um and, and, and give him our time and um love each other. By me giving this video and reading the word with you all, you know, I feel like I'm showing love. I don't know you, but I I read your comments and I really appreciate them. They help me. They motivate me to keep making more videos. You know, um, everybody is not as strong as the next person, but that's why we don't judge. We got a Lord that will do that for us. We just got to keep striding and we just got to hang in there. I know that's what God wants us to do. He's saying, I will be there for you. I will help you. I will guide you. I will walk with you. I'm never going to forsake you. So all you have to do is repent, pray, give your heart to God. And once you do that, he going to guide you to nothing but a path of righteousness. He's not going to even steer you to evil. He said, if a person don't take your word, because I hear people telling me um, they're trying to wake their family up and they're not listening. Pray for them. You know, your word is the mustard seed in their life, you know. Uh, they hear what you have to say and they listen to you. God will do the rest. Let let Jesus do the rest. He's doing it for you in your life. You may be, you know, listen to some music that just came out. You, you see a nice video. But something in your spirit say, type up man of God. Type up um, um, Christian brother preaching or just anything concerning God. One video will lead you to another video. And, and, and when you're dealing in circles, these videos, they all agree. Jesus Christ is our Lord. Everybody in this circle, I would hope. Um, and even if you don't believe Jesus Christ is our, is our Lord and you are in this circle, maybe he's leading you and guiding you to see the reality. He is Lord. He is protecting you. He is your maker and creator. You ever ask your mother... Did you, how did you give me the brown eyes that I have since you're my mother and you had me? Jesus can give you the color eyes you have. Jesus can give you the patience and everything good about you. Jesus can give that to you. Nobody else can. Not Satan, not the music you're listening to, not uh, just gangs, anything, you know. God, God will love you. God will be there for you. He will protect you. But... I know he wants everybody to know we're running out of time. We're running out of time and we have to do something about it. We, I'm going on 10 minutes. I wanted to keep it under 10. So I love you all. Keep praying. Break those strongholds Satan got in your life. 
break everything that's unlike God away from your life. Anything, anybody. We don't have long. I love you all. Hang in there. We are going to make it. We're going to rapture up. We're going to disappear. And we will not see the evil hour. It's written in the scripture. If you just Google, press the speaker and say, pray that ye may not be here in the evil hour. That's concerning the rapture. It's a scripture. You can search it yourself. We can pray that we escape it. I pray you all escape it. I pray me and my family escape it. I pray we clapping each other's hands and hugging each other in heaven. That you encourage me, I encourage you. When you put that comment on there, you motivated me to hang in there and fight. Because I want to see you at the end. At the pearly gates. At, at the at the clouds, wherever it's going to be. I just can't wait to meet everybody that hung in there and fought together. And they helped and they woke people up too. So I love you. Brother, Brother Mike, man of God, loves you. And we're going to continue to do videos till it's not available. Take care.